Hi, in this video, I'll teach you another easy PowerPoint infographic you can create in 39 seconds flat. I'm Ram Gopal from PrezoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The infographic you will learn to create today looks like this. The basic idea of this infographic is as follows. Let us go to a slide here and let us say, I want to create a simple infographic which has four squares. I'm going to create a simple and very quick infographic here. I have just taken a few squares and if I want to represent 25%, all I need to do is to select one of these squares and give it a different color and it immediately shows that there is there are four squares here and one of it is differently colored which represents 25%. If I want to show 50%, all I need to do is to select two of the squares and color them differently. This is the basic idea. Now we have expanded this to create this kind of an infographic. You can use this kind of uh, infographic to talk about the percentage occupancy in a hospital or the percentage of graduates who are dropping off after the first year of college or any such simple information. Let me show you how to create this beautiful infographic in a matter of seconds. What we're going to do is to First, learn how to create these small simple squares and create 100 of them. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu and go to Rectangles tool, pick up this rectangle tool, hold the shift button down and I'm going to draw a simple square. Now I'm going to press Ctrl D to make a duplicate of it and I'm going to keep it right next to it. Now I'm going to select both of them together, hold the Ctrl button down as I move this to its new location. Holding the control button down and clicking and dragging makes a copy of the shape and it is moving it to a new location. Now I'm going to select all of them again, hold the control button down as I click and drag to the new location. Now we have eight of them. Now select two of them, hold the control button down and click and drag. Now we have 10 of them available. And let us go to shape outline and remove outline and let us give it say a slight gray color. Now we have the first row of our infographic ready. I'm going to select all of them together and press Ctrl G. Now we need to make nine more copies of this and arrange them one below the other. So I'm going to press Ctrl D. Ctrl D is the shortcut for duplicate as I mentioned earlier. So I've got it, got one row copied. Now I'm going to press eight more times. So I have totally 10 copies available. So I'm going to press Ctrl D one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So totally we have 10 rows of 10 squares each. I'm going to place this one somewhere here. That is the last piece, last row somewhere here. And I'm going to select all of them together. Go to arrange, align. And this time I'm going to say all of them should be aligned center. Now you can see that all of them are aligned centrally. Then let us go to arrange align and say distribute vertically. So there is equal space uh, placed between the various ones. As you can see, the space is not really adequate. So I'm going to move this slightly down and I'm going to repeat the operation, select everything, arrange, align and say distribute vertically. Now we have proper space between each of them. And once, once again, arrange, align and align center. Now all of them are arranged properly. Now we have 100 of these squares available. I'm going to select everything, right click and say group, ungroup. Now all of these squares are individually editable. Now if I want to say 25% or 30%, all it requires for me is for 30%, I just need to select the last three rows and then change the color. That's it. If I want to say 25%, I just select the five of these and then get them back to the same color using eyedropper tool, I go here and choose the color. And now you can see that I am representing 25%. That way you can represent any percentage that you want. So once you're done filling, then you select everything and press Ctrl G, which is the shortcut for group. So it is easy to uh, move this particular group anywhere you want. So that is how you create this beautiful infographic from scratch. Let me show you an example of how I have taken this idea forward in our complete trainers bundle. 
and created this interesting infographic that shows filled blocks showing percentage completion. The only difference between what I had shown you earlier and this one is that this is totally data driven. For example, instead of showing 98%, if I want to say 64%, right click, go to edit data and then ignore all these gray cells. Go here and you, ch you change the percentage completion to say 64%. Instantly, you can see that the infographic is changed and only 64% is represented. It is that simple once you learn how to create the basic example that I'd shown you earlier. Now, I can make this even more interesting by making it as part of an infographic. For example, you can see that this looks very much like a clip art, but actually it is a data-driven chart. Say I want to say percentage loaded is say 75% instead of 64%. I just need to select this and right click, go to edit data and this is actually a chart. Once again, ignore all these gray cells and change only this number here, say 76%. And now you can see that it is 76%. I just need to go here and make a small little change to say 76 and that's it. This infographic is ready. That is the power of using good quality PowerPoint templates like the ones that are available in Complete Trainers Bundle. Complete Trainers Bundle is a collection of 4022 high quality PowerPoint templates that help you make training presentations look awesome and memorable. There are tons of data-driven infographics that look as if they are taken directly out of financial magazines and they are dead easy to edit. All you need to do is to right-click on any particular chart and go to edit data and make a change to the sample data and the chart updates itself automatically. I hope you really like the technique that you learned today. If you want to learn more such creative techniques to make your training presentations come to life, then I highly recommend you go to Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program is arguably the most comprehensive PowerPoint training online. No other course, either online or offline, or any book that you can see anywhere teaches you the kind of advanced tips, tricks, and techniques that I teach you in Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. You can find more details about the program by clicking on this No More button here. I'll also leave a link to the program in the description area below this video. And before we close this video, just one more thing. Do you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting even if your topic is dry and boring? then please click here to sign up for a fun seven day email course. It's a totally free course. And if you're a trainer or a course creator, it is a course you can't afford to miss. I'll see you on the inside.